Shout my hip hop since 1987, niggas. Hip hop since 1987.com. So you were there through all the cash money, young money, you know, the, the beginning and all of that. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't at the beginning of the cash money, you, you know, know what I'm saying? saying? But, but I was, that, yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah, I was, that was there when Drake first came through, you know what I'm saying? That nigga came through professional as a motherfucker, yeah? <laughs> like, for real. Yeah, I ain't even gonna stay, you know what I'm so saying? Your for real, time that nigga came So your time there during that period, was how, you know, how was your time there during the period, you know, dealing with the whole cash money emergence going through It was, the next I ain't gonna, like, we, we always, we did our separate thing from them, you know okay. what I'm saying? Like, we wasn't, you know, like, so much, like, intertwined with whatever, you know, baby and shit was doing, okay. you feel me? Like, we was, you know, like, in our own shit, you know what I'm saying? We all, we had, we had our own, you know, studio sessions booked, our own, you know what I'm saying? You know, going, going on the road doing our own shows and our own tours, you know what I mean? For real, like, we'll see, you know, if, for like a nigga like me, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, you know, like, fuck, we'll see baby and shit sometimes, you know, at the studio, whatever, this and that, you know what I'm saying? But for the most part, like, nigga like me, I was just more focused on just being in the studio and your day getting work done, you heard me? Okay. Okay, okay, so let's fast forward a little bit. Uh-huh. G Unit. Yeah. 50 Cent. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. You, you know, after you know, life after Young Money. Uh-huh. You know, yeah, you man. 50 Cent. How did that come yeah. about? Man, that that came about just from like grinding, man, and, and look to to all to all artists dog. If you if you in this shit, man, don't never give up on shit, bro, cause you never know who watching. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. Man, this man called me three o'clock in the morning. You know what I'm saying? But the end, and like I tell it to everybody, when you rich as a motherfucker, you can get in touch with anybody you want to. Yeah, for real. For that nigga to find my mother, my number, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? For real. Yeah, three in the morning, called me. You hear me? And um, he was he was in he was in New Orleans at the time shooting a movie. You hear me? And I was in New York at the time. You hear me? For real. Like cause around that time, like it was like man, I ain't gonna front like. Like that, that little time, bro. Like it was just so, so crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like I, nigga was into so much dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? Around that time, Brian. You know, um, he called me, and um, you know, he told me, you know, like, yo, what's up? Whatever, what the whoop. He like, yeah, man. You know, I'm in New Orleans right now. You know, that's Link. I'm like, damn, my nigga, I'm, I'm in New York. You know what I'm saying? And what's crazy is, I was on, I was in his hood. You know what I'm saying? I don't got Bruin 34. You know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, at the uh, fucking Rochdale project. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like I was in the projects. You know what I'm saying? So you know that fucked him up. You know what I'm saying? So you know I'm like, man, I ain't tripping. You did for real. Flew out there the next morning. You did. I linked with him, and like he just, you know, he, he fell in love with my energy. You know what I'm saying? For real, because like the nigga, like when I met him, you heard me. <laughs> The day and that, that would let me know too, like, you know, I, I could fuck with dude, you hear me? Cause like I said, like I was living so much dumb shit, you hear me, out there in the city. So when I came and I went met him, you know what I'm saying? I came with down to every gun on the man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and it was like, when I seen, cause you know, I, I like, I know how most niggas is, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, especially if you don't know a nigga, and you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I would have thought that he would be like, man, I'm not this nigga wild or what you did, like, fuck, you hear me? So, but when he accepted that, and I seen he accepted my people, you know what I'm saying, like my horror, I was just like, you know what I'm saying, he's a solid nigga, you know what I'm saying, you know, I can fuck with him or whatever. Okay. And, uh, and the nigga, the nigga had, uh, he had, he had like four beats, right? Like four, five beats or whatever. He had the studio van, and um, he was like, look, I want you to, I want you to take these beats, you know what I'm saying, go home, write to them, whatever, you know what I'm saying, come back. So I'm like, and he had went off the, uh, the go for the filming or whatever, right filming the scene. So I'm like, take him home and what? There's a studio right here. I'm not going nowhere. Cause what, what, where you want me to go? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fuck back, back, fucking on the fucking block, back to, you know what I'm saying? Like fuck that. I'm about to get it. I'm about to get it in right now. Right. You feel me for real? So it was crazy. I, I did all them songs. You know what I'm saying? That was the the uh the niggas be scheming. Fucking uh, 
the uh still here the still here joint um we did animal ambition too we did animal ambition you know what i'm saying um what was the what was the other it was like it was like like another another joint too you know what i'm saying but i know by the time he finished by the time he finished uh filming the scene like he come back and he was like, oh, like, like you know, surprised I'm still there. I'm like, yeah, man, for sure. I said, man, I knocked out the, uh, you hear me? The track you had again. So that nigga listened to it and said, damn. And he said, man, you were fat. I said, yeah. I said, cut the other one off. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, cut the other one off too. Cut the other one off too. That nigga was like, damn, like, damn. Like, you know what I'm saying? like, man, you work like that. This man, you like, man, you know, like, they're like, man, I ain't, you know, you like, I ain't never meet nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like that, whatever, this and that. I'm like, fucking right, though. I'm like, man, this, this, for me, this is all I got. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, you heard me for real. Like, what else is there for me to do, my nigga? Right. You feel me? Like, I'm, 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 I'm going to do what I got to do. You heard me? Okay. And, like, from that, like, we do rocking hard. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I stayed in the city, you know what I'm saying, the whole while he was in the city. And, uh, and you know, just being down there, you know what I'm saying? You know, the, the bullshit caught up to me. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's how I end up getting, you know what I'm saying? Right. You know, I was about getting to shot you, up like, and shit, yeah. You know, you know, getting shot after meeting 50 Cent. Uh -huh. You know, right after meeting him. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. where was your mind state? It at was that like, time, man, my when nigga, so like. so close to the mark look, again. Look, listen to me, dog. Like, dog, I could, I could recall, dog, just being on the ground, listening to niggas still, niggas still shooting, you hear me? I'm on the ground, niggas. Niggas still hit me. I'm just like, damn, bro, not like this. You know what I'm saying? I, like, that's all I can think about to myself, but like, man, not like this, man. Fuck. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, you hear me? Like, someone's a nigga about to like, damn, you hear me? For real, and for real, bro. Like, it made me, it made me think about like people like Soldier Slim, and you know what I'm saying? For real, and shit like that, bro. Like, even. Even now, you know what I'm saying? Look at on um, the BTY Youngin, you know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, the BTY. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I, it, it's almost like it's a curse on our city, dog. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? It, it was only a few that made it out, and that's why they stay out from out that motherfucker. You know right. what I'm saying? For real. But, but you know, it's a, it's a, it's a difference too. You know what I'm saying? Like me, like I'm still in my city. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, there is a difference too. It is all about you know how you move. You know what I'm saying? You hear me? And, you know, respect, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But 50 stuck by you. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah, he stuck you by You know, me. unlike, you know, how situations yeah. was for him, yeah. he got shot. Yeah, yeah, he t and he told me that. Like, he was like, because, man, when I got shot, man, everybody, you know, backed up away from me and, you know, and shit like that and stuff like that, you know. He was like, man, I'm letting you know, you know what I'm saying, you know, your day I'm, I'm gonna stick with you, you know what I'm saying, you know, I'm gonna fuck with you, whatever, stuff like that. And uh, you know, he stuck with me and sure enough, man, when I when I got out the hospital, my nigga, like, I wasn't even out the hospital a good day. You know what I'm saying? For real. Like I ain't even get a chance to make it to therapy and shit and you know, get the fucking on, cause you know I had to get collide to wear a colotomy bag, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. For like ten months, yeah. So I ain't even had a chance to re-up on colostomy bags or nothing, you know, this nigga flying a nigga, you know what I'm saying, all over the fucking world and shit, you know what I'm saying, thank God I had a passport door already on deck, you know what I'm saying, for real, like he just, you know, had a nigga just going all over, you know what I'm saying, but really just, you know, saving me from that environment, you know what I'm saying, you know, keeping me from my environment, for real, you know, I, I always have, you know, love for him for that. You know okay. what I mean? For real. Shout my hip hop since 1987, niggas. Hip hop since 1987.com. So squad up was first, then came Young Money. Yeah, like real nigga shit. Like Wayne, Wayne, Gutter, like T Streets and Mario. You know, all them already was partners and shit. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like all them already was partners. They was, you know, from out the east and all of that shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm the little nigga out the night wall. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like I, I got with them. Like they was already like calling themselves, you know, just like squad and shit. You know okay. what I'm saying? Okay. And so uh but they wasn't no rap group. You know what all I'm saying? Right. It wasn't a rap group. They just was, you know what I'm saying, you know, just partners. That's what they called their little partners. You know what I'm saying? All right. And like uh, one of my partners, you know what I'm saying, from out my way, you did from out my street, you did mule. Um, he like was you know close with with fee and shit like that. 
he did so he's like man look man i'm gonna bring you i'm gonna bring you to go ride for wayne and shit like that you know what i'm saying okay. and that nigga bought me around there <laughs> you know what i'm saying i spit for the nigga you hear me and he yeah. do it like oh man 